Howdy, my name is Hafid, and in this video, I want to show you how to access and customize this very unique menu inside of Cinema 4D called the Global Menu. I am using Cinema 4D R23. I am sure that this works with the new S24, but let me know in the comments if this works for a version that's lower than R23. But basically, you access this menu with the letter V on the keyboard, as you can see it right here also if you have one of those mouses that has buttons on the side you can use either of those buttons one is going to have the rectangle selection but the other one it must have the menu so if you just click it you can also access that menu through that button i think this menu can be useful for somebody that's coming from something like blender or even maya um, i think i've seen those menus in there but um here it is in cinema just to have everything you know ready at hand you can pretty much click anywhere on the scene and you can find this menu i personally like having my ui as clean as possible and even when i'm working i rather go to geometry uh, filter and then just have the pure geometry showing it really depends on your personal taste and how you use cinema for the overall and of course you can also access any of your commands by prompting the command center pressing shift and then the letter c and let's say let me find something like this figure right here there they are but once again you can access the global menu by pressing the letter v anywhere on the screen or that um, side button on your mouse if your mouse has it okay now let me show you how you can customize this menu as you can see i have the very specific tools that i use and that i like the most so let me just show you how you can customize this okay so this is how cinema 4d looks like in the standard layout you can see the buttons on the top and on the left and if you already have like a customized toolbars um you can definitely just like drag and drop them into that menu and in into that custom menu in order to do this you have to go to window customization and then customize menus you should see right away the editor menu and if you look at the names they're pretty much the same menus that you have over here at the top to access the global menu simply open up this window and then go to global pop-up and here is where you can edit that global menu as you can see if i right click and watch the menu i here have a one two three um, if you click into the sub menus, here is where you're going to put uh, those specific commands inside. The order from top to bottom of this sub menus is going to have a counterclockwise layout on the global pop up. As you can see, my number one is on the top, and then my second on the sub menus is going to show on the second side as the counterclockwise. So my render is on the left, my, no my modes is on the third, and then so on and so forth. Another thing to know is that you only have 10 spaces for the sub menus. I don't think that there is a limit for how many you can put inside of each menu, but I think you are limited to uh, 10. If I go ahead and add a new sub menu and just name it number four, I'm going to click on apply, save all changes and my number four is going to appear only because it's taking the space of my number two but as you can see my number two is at the bottom and it's not going to be seen in the menu it only takes 10 spaces i'm going to recreate this menu number one just so i can show you the different ways that you can add the commands so i'm going to select it and just delete slash cut for some reason i have to select a sub menu in order to create a new one so i'm just going to create a new one i'm going to call it one in order to drag and drop the commands that you already have in the viewport, just go to window, customization, and then click on customize commands or customize palettes. Here you can search for any specific command that you want to add. But like I said, you can also drag and drop just from the um, toolbars on the side or the top, wherever you have them, just drag and drop it. Make sure that the arrow is down so it goes inside of the menu. And as you can see, it is right there. So for my sub menu number one, I like to have pretty much these um, five, um, I guess, object modes. So I'm just going to drag and drop those the points, the edge mode and the polygon mode the only downside of this global pop-up menu is that you don't have access to for example if i click on subdivision service um, it usually gives you all the generators inside of it so it does it's not gonna um, give you that feature of like holding it and then i'm um, seeing everything else let me show you what i mean so if i open up this menu it gives me all of them um, inside of the menu and then here object mode um, i can select from model to object animation whatever so you're not gonna have that feature inside of this sub menu so you're just gonna have to add um, those specific um, 
commands. I like to have a shortcut for the um, model mode as well as the object mode. So what I'm going to do uh, once again, go to the customize uh, menus, go into my global pop up and then customization go into um, customize palettes or customize commands and then i'm just gonna search up that object mode and just like the icons just click and drag it into this menu that you want to add it to and make sure to click apply and then save all changes and now if you press the letter v or the um, right button on your mouse whichever one you like here's the mouse button here's the letter v and you're gonna have your custom global menus but there you have it this was just a quick tutorial that i wanted to share with you guys i knew about this menu um already but i didn't know how to customize it i just find out yesterday just like by going through um the cinema 4d menus and, and trying to find out how to customize it but there you have it i just wanted to share this with you if you're interested in any other videos that i might have in my channel go ahead and check it out my name is hafid and i'll see you on the next video